morning and welcome to another episode of Cook This. I'm your host, Pete Calvetti. And our celebrity judge panel this morning will be, of course, Mr. John Passarella. Happy Good Friday, John. Happy Friday, too. Mr. Nick Gale from our Fine Arts Division. Right. Good morning. Welcome back. And Miss Patty Farley. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Um, this is your favorite cable show where we take some of our local favorite restaurants, uh, have them come in here at 7 o'clock in the morning and cook some food for us and uh, have some judges uh, eat uh, pasta for breakfast. Ah. So I have a special guest today. Um, this is an old friend from sixth grade, Miss Trish Boenzi, who is owner of Toscana's in LaGrange, brand new restaurant this year, uh, right next to the LaGrange Theater. So Trish, welcome to the show. Thank you for being Thank here. Thank you for having me. Excellent, and this is her chef Dino. Say hola Dino. Thank you. All right, look at how polite. Um, so the first plate that they're going to be making, we created a, kind of a cool menu for you guys today. We're going to be doing some interesting, different Italian plates for you guys. The first one is going to be Mr. Uh, Rigatoni Dino. So we're going to let them take it over from here, what they start off with. Um, he's starting off with some olive oil. Is it really called Rigatoni Dino? It is. Did you make them say that, Dino? <laughs> It's Look, Dino the first time we got the heat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're ready to go this We're not morning. waiting for it to yes. sizzle anymore. Yes. <laughs> Trish, we're hoping you're going to share a little bit of uh, Pete's past with us. Oh, no. We, that's going to be edited out. I don't know. We'll be talking. We want some uh, background on <laughs> Off Pete. camera. Off camera. Okay. I was a good boy. <laughs> yeah. He just added six ounces of chicken and some salt and pepper to the oil. The chicken was par cooked already, so. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about a raw chicken or anything. <laughs> Two ounces of mushrooms, also just one in. Just let that cook for a couple minutes. No, so have you ever, ever uh, I'm sorry? I'm so, no, go ahead, Pete. I was going to say, have you ever been in this room before or no? No. No? Isn't that funny? We were never in the room. I never. I filmed a, uh, a uh, weather, weather show here one time. Really? Were you in the principal's office a lot? <laughs> I don't know what it looks like. That. I'm in there every day now. That's because my picture's in there. Yeah. Got a big picture of me? You like that one? That's good. Oh, we got plastic darts. <laughs> now he's adding the sauce to the dish, which is, um, it's made of roasted red peppers, cream, salt and pepper, basil, uh, Parmesan cheese, and a little bit of crushed red pepper. Nice. I can smell it already. Jeez. That's just for me, right, Dina? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I don't know what you're cooking for this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll share with Patty, but not Thanks. with me. Thanks. Thank you very much. How does that smell good? Absolutely. Trish, that I mean, like you, you just, or you, that's a new restaurant. Yes. But were you in the restaurant business before that? No, I was not. Wow. I was a social worker. Oh. <laughs> what what made you the bridge mind? the gap there? Um, I always worked oh, in one part-time over the years and just got involved with some people and we started talking and here wow. we are. Great. How long have you guys been open? It'll be a year at the end of June this year. Sure. Congratulations. Thank you. Tough time to open yes. a restaurant. You. you have and a great I, location. Yes, we do. Thank you. Yeah, we have to go there. I stop typically at the the theater and don't walk the further south. So I'll be walking further south now. We're right next to the yeah, theater. Yeah, awesome. so. Great location. I'm sure you <coughs> use your social work skills quite a bit, though. <laughs> <laughs> Dealing with people that had too much wine. Yeah. Right. Do you see anyone on the panel who needs assistance? <laughs> 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 hey, very nice, Dean. So how did you come up with Dino's name? Did you just put your name on there, Dino, or did you ask? <laughs> so it's kind of like a compliment to the chef, I guess. Awesome. You can yes. something after you. That's pretty cool. It looks great. It does. Rigatoni is awesome. Rigatoni is so popular nowadays, especially with these thicker cream sauces, because mm -hmm. it gets in there. It gets inside the tubes. How large a uh, uh, seating capacity do you have? Um, we seat about 90 inside, and then in the summer, about 40 seats outside. Oh, oh nice. that's pretty cool. Is that a little patio out behind it or out in the front? It's out in front uh, okay. along the Grange Road. Oh, yeah, it's really long and skinny, mm -hmm. right? So it takes up like their whole windows. So it's like the right. Grange Theater and then like a bunch of cafes. Oh, it's real out estate. The corner. Yeah. It's right there. Yeah. You cannot miss it. I mean, I've walked up to the window often on the way <laughs> into the. Theater. Only dinner? Are you open for We're open dinner? for lunch. Lunch, too? Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely. Now you have a website where people we can do. go on the website? Toscanasgrill.com. Now, uh, is Dino your, your head chef? He is. How many people work under Dino? Or? Um, there's four, four total, including Dino. Now I know uh, your background is in social uh, uh, services social or social work. Uh, how do you connect with Dino? Okay. <laughs> I know you may want to do that. No, seriously, <laughs> how do you connect with a chef that has the ability that Dino has? He's easy to work with. Yeah. No, I mean, how did you actually like? Oh, how, how did you meet him? Oh, with him my partners um, worked with him in the past. Oh wow, yes. that's pretty cool. So your other food partners? Yes. Oh, cool. Cool. Now were they in business elsewhere? They had another restaurant in Downers Grove. Okay. 
Now, are you there every day? I am there um, almost every day. That's pretty cool. I have Wednesdays off. Is this one of your favorites? Yes, absolutely. It smells great. It's really good. It does smell really good. Yeah, I'll be there tonight. We're going to go there tonight. <laughs> Seriously, we're going to go to the show tonight, so I'm going to stop by for tonight. Good, we have some good entertainment tonight going on, too. Seriously. Mm -hmm. What do you have tonight? Um, we have Jersey Rick, his name is. He plays the piano and sings like Seriously. classic rock, Bon Jovi. It's, nice. He's really, really That's good. Awesome. He's really good. Yeah, I love Bon Jovi. How mm -hmm. often do you have live entertainment? Every weekend. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. You know, we have our students that sometimes actually, if I'm not correct, if I'm not wrong, that in fact the quartet goes yep. out, am yep. I right? They go out perform, and perform. So oh, really? They're, they're mm -hmm. awesome. So if you're ever looking for talent, mm -hmm. uh, we definitely have that. Cool, thank you. Yeah, pretty cool. Extensive on the studio. garnishes. I love it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I like to see how you wrap nice. those peppers. Very Tony Aladino. Is there a serving Lovely. spoon by chance, uh, Mr. Yeah, Nick? I'll just pass. Okay, yeah, I, got uh, no, I would. We'll do, I got we'll do family style. I can Family style, there you go. Why, thank you. Wow, that looks fantastic. I'm going to pull one of the uh, peppers also. Oh, thank you. You know, I like how some of these plates are not that hard to make. Look at that. Oh, great. No, it's ingredients. not. <laughs> thank you. May I serve you, Mr. Nick? Oh, please. May I call you, Mr. What Nick? What do you well, think are some of the challenges of opening up a restaurant? <laughs> okay. <laughs> too many for Okay, I, 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 just, just, I was just too curious. Yeah, we only have a couple minutes. So. <laughs> the, Where do you, know, you start? The foods kids have great aspirations to work, of course, in oh, kitchens sorry, and in restaurants. Wow. And uh, I don't think great. they realize how much has to go behind it's the scenes. It's a lot of work. I mm -hmm. mean, initially when you open, you're crowded from the start because you're new and it's, you know, a good location. And you got to keep that up and keep it open. So. Yeah, you see after, oh after six goodness. months to a year what you're made of. Mm -hmm. After the, the paparazzi are gone. Don't 50 percent of restaurant or businesses start in the first year fail? Oh, I think it was 80 percent. 80? 80 percent in the first two oh my years, gosh. I think it was. Well, so why don't we get some oh rigatoni feedback? I, want, I think Dino wants to know what you guys are thinking here. Oh my. Plate. Well, I thought the garnishes helped make it look aesthetically the garnishes were nice. Yes. Wrapping up a pepper with some cheese. Yeah, what is this, parsley? I'm sorry. Parsley. And mm -hmm. the sauce is really light. It it's is, especially as a cream as a sauce, cream sauce yeah. but it, it, the flavor just wraps around, you know, your palate, don't you think? Great well, I, I think it Great does, though. So. Yeah. It's very for full later. body wraps for being so lucky. Wraps, it wraps around your palate. Your palate. <laughs> <laughs> Where is your palate at? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Totally. Okay. <laughs> Some comments from the... I think it's... it's the palate gallery. I'll be there tonight Ooh, for dinner, like and I may be eating this this evening. Palate gallery. Their menu is unbelievable. Great we'll job. talk more about it later. But um, wow. okay, pasta alla Dino. Great. And uh, the so first much. one they get an awesome. A plus on. <laughs> yes. So when we come back, we're going to be making some pork caprese. Stay hungry. We'll be right back. Hey, welcome back to Cook This. I'm your host Pete Calvetti. Um, over here, this funny guy over here is John uh, Passarella, the assistant. Uh, <laughs> this is Mr. Nick Gale from the Fine Arts Hello, Division and Miss Patty Farley, all here to Hi. have some more food with us. Um, our special guest of the day is Miss um, Buenzi here, Trish Buenzi, um, an RB alumni and now owner of Toscana's in LaGrange, right next to LaGrange Theater. And she brought along her chef, Dino. They just made a fabulous rigatoni Dino that we were still eating off air. But now our next plate is going to be pork caprese. So we're going to have some pork now. Take it over, Mr. Dino and Trish. <laughs> Again, he's starting with olive oil. Mm -hmm. And then he's adding um, five ounces, which is four slices of pork loin. He's coating it in, in plain flour. Oh, okay. I got nervous. I thought that was one big piece of pork. I'm like, that's going to take forever to cook. <laughs> no. You tricky Dino. <laughs> so you just uh, um, putting some flour on it. Is that regular flour? Mm -hmm. Okay. Miss mm -hmm. Trish, it sounds like you obviously know the meals, the, the plates. Are you, how active are you in, in creating those? In creating them? Like, what role do you have? I'm not sit there and really you're a taste active. Tester? Yeah, I'm a taste <laughs> tester. Yeah, I guess I mean, you obviously know your menu. Right. So you have, you, are you part of the suggestion part? Is, is there like a meeting? Is it Dino who runs that? Um, Dino is definitely involved. His brother is also one of one of our head chefs. And then um, my partner is in the restaurant. We um, revised the menu, which will be revised shortly. Neat. And um, taste things. And Dino comes up with a lot in his Don't own. remove the rigatoni. Please. No, absolutely not. So if he has an idea, he just comes to mm -hmm. the partners and it. says, hey, I, I, let's try this out. Yep. Wow. He's adding um, red peppers right now. 
and cherry tomatoes. I always thought cherry tomatoes are cool in plates. Instead of having chopped tomatoes, it looks like you're getting individuals. Yeah. Great. Salt Where and pepper. Did you know get his training? Where did you get your training? Was just on just his own? Or, you know, um, he's worked office. in the restaurant for years, restaurant industry. Sure. Because Mrs. Farley, who works with students in that area, you know, sometimes they're looking to move forward and move Yes, up. they are. Yeah, we have Experience. a couple of students going to state competition on Monday. Oh, uh, wow. Excellent. And so what, we have what to wish area? them luck. In the culinary. Who they are have those to students? put Lisa, Stefan, oh, Becky oh, D. Oh. One ounce of white seniors. wine is being added. A little wine to wake everyone up. Yeah, white good. wine has a great flavor. And another ounce of chicken stock. I pulled it down. Mm. How many chefs could be in the kitchen at one time? Four. Okay. Um, now he's topping everything with tomatoes, uh, fresh basil leaf, and fresh mozzarella. Is it like a, a almost like a, a, and you know the terminology of a preparation line? I mean, mm -hmm. everyone's doing a different task? Mm -hmm. is, yeah. it, is that what it looks like? Yeah, in the restaurant industry, there's, there's prep in the back. Prep. They're the ones who design that tomato, yeah. um, mm -hmm. basil, and cheese. Sure. They make 50 of those. Sure. Mm -hmm. And then there's the cooks on the line who take everything that's the been line, assembled on the line, and they assemble it, basically. Well, you can and smell this already. Send it out. Mm -hmm. Someday technology will catch up with real life where you can Someday. smell what's being cooked. Gosh. Yeah, well, that's something we're working on, smell a vision Smell-O-Vision. <laughs> we'll yeah. we'll yeah. we're, we we're sitting here smelling garlic and white wine and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and well, we got to make sure we document that because what was that one movie about Facebook, you know, people's ideas and all that stuff. Yeah, we got to get it in writing. Yeah, yes. smell copyright it. We'll have yes. Mr. Prokes do that for us. Okay. We have a tape of it, too. Yeah, but we're it does still waiting for our coffee, so I won't hold my breath. No, you're an alum? Yes. You were with Mr. Pete? He was older. He was older. I'm trying to sound like, like I was a senior. And she didn't even hesitate there. She's a year under me. Yeah, that's how she identified you as I'm the older 90, one. She's class of 91. So oh, that's who's tall. still here that were your teachers? Um, I don't know who's Ms. still here. Ms. Goldberg? She was here, yeah. Mr. Gollins? No. I don't know that one. Goldberg for sure, and I think that might be it. Really? Yeah, I think there was only one or two left. Yeah. Oh, okay. What about the gym teachers? Um, Breslin, Ms. Kruger. No, they're done. The wellness. Anita Kruger is now, uh, she was taking photos for uh, playing an active role in that, but uh, huh. as we go through the show, I'll try to think of a few, but definitely Ms. Mm -hmm. Goldberg, who's solid. Yeah. She's a great, great lady. Ready? Yep. So what are you doing? You're melting the cheese on? on the cheese. Oh, okay. Oh, so okay. all blends together. What's one of your favorites? Do you have a favorite that you cook? Do you enjoy cooking or all? All. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say is one of the most popular menu items? Um, definitely the jambalaya, which we'll be making next. Um, Great. Yes. We serve a spicy lasagna, oh, okay. um, which is very popular. Spicy That's um, with chicken, Italian sausage, ricotta, spinach. It's topped with a marinara Alfredo sauce. So oh, yeah, I saw that like marinara things. Alfredo. I'm like, what it's a mixer. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Average meal? Cost. Without drinks? Without no, drinks? Cost, yeah, mm -hmm. without drinks. Yeah, um, pasta going. between you know ten dollars and then up to maybe sixteen, seventeen dollars. Cool. Okay. Nice. Do you there, have any uh, specials? As, as we were looking over the uh, menu, the menu was really neat. The menu, I've, I'm seeing stuff on that menu that I've been around pasta houses a little bit. You know, I, I've seen stuff on her menu I haven't seen anywhere else. Oh, wow. great! Yeah, it was That's really. I great. can't wait to get in there with my. <laughs> and this week when I was over there, she served me some uh, rajol. You guys know oh. what that is. Rolls of steak yes. cooked for five hours. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. She gave me these two rolls. I was sitting on my, her mom was there. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Sincerely, oh my God. Seriously. I've had that a couple Seriously. times in my life and it was unbelievable. Yes. Was there like a special table if I come by tonight, you know, with my wife and so she thinks I have some to pull? I told you the one by the window. Some pull. Keep them occupied. Yeah. The one Keep outside. Keep the window on. <laughs> It's like, it's like a puppy. Give him something to look at. <laughs> you just added some Parmesan cheese. Are you saying I have an attention problem? So now you're thickening it up with some Parmesan sauce, cheese. Parmesan yeah. cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And it's served with a side of garlic mashed potatoes. Oh, Ooh. wow. That's what I'm saying. A little bit different. You know? Yes. It comes with some risotto. This comes with some garlic mashed potatoes. Yes. Everything's not always pasta. A couple Start. minutes left to taste Let's this. Let's do it. Awesome. Okay, so if I was going to bring my family there, is it a family-friendly restaurant? Absolutely. Okay, great. Yes. You have young children because I don't like sitting Ten and eleven, yeah, mm -hmm. they they would be so scared of you. It would be funny. <laughs> what are you talking about? 
<laughs> wow. Look at that. I'll pass it down to Ms. Yes. Oh my god. Look nice. at how beautiful that looks. Wow. I really I like try to talk with it. the kids about the garnishing very well. and the plating, and that's really beautiful. That is wonderful. Well, while they're um, doing that, why don't you tell us a little bit, like, um, why don't you give us your address? Okay. Our address is 88 South LaGrange Road. It's um, next to the LaGrange Theater and Cassidy Avenue between those two. Okay, right on the corner of there. Okay. What are your hours? Let's see. Monday through Monday through Thursday, we are 11.30 to 9. The kitchen's open till 9, but we will stay. We have a later liquor license on that. And then on weekends, we are 11.30 to 10. The kitchen closes at 10. Okay. So you're saying if you have a, a party or whatnot, you guys can stay open a little later. Yeah. And Sunday is also 11.30 to 9. I think we better save some of this for Mrs. Biles because she called up that the yeah. office is hungry. So <laughs> it'll be plated very well. So you well. guys do catering? Absolutely. Okay, and, and I you think you I saw that cutie menu, and that looked awesome. Look and, and, yeah. your, and as I was telling them earlier, your menu is vast, but your prices are great. I didn't see any twenty-eight dollar this and right. twenty-four dollar this. I mean, the most expensive thing I saw was probably sixteen to eighteen bucks for the fancy plates, and you which run is specials excellent. Specials at all? We yes, please, you do. Dino creates specials on weekends. They change all the time. Our soups change every couple days. <laughs> excellent. This well, is give us a. a, a Wow. Give us a thumbs up over here. What do you guys think of the plate? Definitely thumbs up. Yeah, the combination of flavors is fantastic. See, yeah. It's a lot of layers in it. It's got to be. Yeah. It really yeah. is. And you can taste each one. It kind of yes. blends together. What and did you say earlier? It wraps. It wraps itself around your palate. Well, <laughs> it wraps there's, itself. The well, there's wraps a lot of depth. Around his, there's his a lot of lapping. depth in the flavor, and it's so fresh. <laughs> it's it really so nice it is and very fresh, fresh yeah. with the pork. You John, don't usually get that. This was, uh, okay. it, it, I, the first meal that we served was unbelievable. It just keeps getting better. Yeah. We designed it that way. Awesome. We were in there. That's why I like. Oh. No, I didn't design it, but she had such a big, beautiful wow. menu. We went in and said, "What's going to impress everybody in the yeah. country? We don't want to wow. make spaghetti marinara." Mm -hmm. You know, so that's why we're doing three different this plates. Well, awesome. and this is not overwhelming. Again, it's such substantial mm -hmm. meal, but it's not heavy. Yeah, the tomatoes aren't overcooked. So no, it's just mushy. It, mm -hmm. the, the a nice, a nice texture. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Well, that was our pork caprese. Another A plus from our judges over here. Dino, good job. Yes. Very good. That was very beautiful. Very nice setup mm -hmm. over there. Mm -hmm. The garnishes. Very we good. come back, we're going to make one of their signature dishes, Italian jambalaya, which is going to be really exciting. We'll see you when we get back. Thanks. Hey, welcome back to Cook This. I'm your host, Pete Calvetti. To reintroduce for the final time our celebrity judge panel is Mr. Oh, you're going last. Is Miss Patty Farley over here? Welcome back, Patty. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Nick Yale from the Fine Arts Division. Morning. Welcome back. And Mr. John Passarella. Thank you for allowing me. Back. You're almost like a celebrity, you know, kind of. You know, yeah, we'll like talk. Don't, don't, oh, we'll don't talk. Don't, this is don't, just, you know, don't, don't pump it. I'm gonna let you guys don't deal with that for the rest of the day. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be out of here. I'll be home <laughs> in 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. I'm a celebrity. Um, <laughs> our special guest of the day is the owner of Toscana's. Um, it's an Italian restaurant in the Green. Just opened up this year, and it is Trish Buenzi here with her chef um, Dino. They have created some fabulous plates. A rigatoni Dino named after him, mm -hmm. and we just had a pork caprese that was. Beautifully done, well mastered. She had a bunch of comments on it. Everything was sliced properly. It was. It was so delicately done, yet it's so robust in its flavor that you just, it was beautiful. And the presentation just really made it, um, you know, sets itself apart from a typical Italian restaurant. Excellent. You can really Excellent. tell there's a lot of. Thank you. After that's you a great compliment that. to the to the owner it, and the chef. It, it's, it, it, that's what. But I really am sincere, and I do Excellent. like. Excellent. Well, our <laughs> next plate, final plate of the day, is Italian jambalaya. I can't wait to see this. It's stuck out on the menu I know, to me. me too. So take it over, guys. Some Italian jambalaya. Let me guess. Olive oil. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. But I'm fun. Like what about private? Dino, what about private parties or anything? We uh, do private parties. You do. Yes. Okay. We had a 55 person private party last night. That we wow. did. And what is it? Is it a standard menu, or do you they get can pick options? Whatever they want, wow. however they want it served. Okay. Awesome. So um, he's coating um, four shrimp right now in jambalaya seasoning, mm -hmm. which is a mixture of paprika, salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder, coriander, thyme, and cayenne pepper. Wow. wow. Nice. You remember Very all that? Good. That was yeah. good. That Where's was good. Where's your cucumber? Yeah. 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 Stay. No. She, what was no the cheat one you said? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me repeat it. Yeah. God, There's got to be good. some acronym oh, if you remember. They're not getting those. I'm telling you right now, Dino. So you're gonna hand him the plate. He's oh gonna take God. four shrimp out and then pass the plate down. It smells. That's right. what I'm interested with the jambalaya because it's a couple different proteins. You know, it's yes. the shrimp and the chicken. Yes. Sausage. 
Now he's adding three ounces of uh, chicken, which is also coated in the jambalaya seasonings. I think I'm doing jambalaya. That's pretty cooked. <laughs> So you're going to have rigatoni for an appetizer and then... I just don't know what I'm going to eat. I'm going to just ask Dino to come out and give me the combination platter, which doesn't exist. <laughs> or, or chef's choice. Exactly. I'm going to the back you know of what? Dino. That, that's such a problem I have when I go to restaurants is mm -hmm. I want three different things. Mm -hmm. And what we do is like my son will order one thing, my wife will order another thing, and it's just a plate swap that's is what it is. What that's the way it should be. Now it's Italian sausage, which is also coated in the seasoning. Okay. Wow, that smells already. Yeah, yeah wow. Is. Three different, that's nice. That's a lot of oh, cooking. So while that's cooking, um, so you do catering, mm -hmm. um, you do private parties, but you have a big long room so you can fit a lot of people in there, I'm right. assuming. Do um, you have any other kind of uh, events during the week or anything like that? Um, we do a Wednesday, um, we do a lunch buffet from 11.30 to 2.30, 7.95 a person. Oh, um, for nice. Friday, John Especially will be for this taking kind of food, you know, it's yeah. really Mm -hmm. So that's Wednesdays? That? Wednesdays, 11.30 to 2.30. Okay. And then Sundays, we have a Sunday brunch. Oh, so we have some breakfast items and then, you know, pasta, a meat dish, maybe sausage and peppers or chicken. There's always a salad out, um, a dessert table. There's about okay. 10 or 12 items to choose from. Well, whoever oh, put this How together, much is the brunch? Right? The brunch is 10.95. Oh, that's great price. very reasonable. Yeah. Prices are very especially reasonable. Especially for this food. Yeah, for a high-end brunch. Yes. Jambalaya yeah. has been on the brunch menu. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Okay. Nice. Wow. You're going to have uh, Mr. Passarello over there, <laughs> there picking the shrimp out of the jambalaya. Yeah, no, I'll take it all. <laughs> I love it all. Okay, what is that now? This is a jambalaya sauce. It's a mixture of red and yellow peppers, onions, tomatoes, and our homemade jardinera. Ooh, I love jardinera. Oh, so that's the spice? Yes. Wow. Oh, yum. Wow. A bowl. Yeah, I got your jambalaya bowl right here. So nice. your your team along with you uh, definitely knows their stuff. And, uh, exactly. Did it well. Thank you. My compliments. Did it well. Yes. Exactly. I look forward to you being there for years and decades. <laughs> well, and what I really like is that there's traditional cuisines, but mm -hmm. you've infused them with other elements that are not ordinary. Right. Yes. We have our spaghetti and meatballs and brujoles, which you don't see at a lot of restaurants mm -hmm. anymore. You and don't. then, you know, the jambalaya. We have Sicilian meatloaf, which is meatloaf with prosciutto and um, see, oh, wow. look how and cheese lovely. wrapped, yeah. rolled into it. So, wow. so there's not definitely, I'm sorry, there's not just a region of Italy that you're trying to mm -hmm. capture. It's, it's <laughs> part entire of boot. That's it's what I figured. Boot. Okay, that's what I figured. <laughs> that's awesome. Did you want to ask any more questions? No, but thanks. I, know, she's I, I appreciate it. I, I am. I'm a, now I'm starting you, uh, to wake up. If you want, this to you be want the us to leave, we'll leave. No, we'll come back the for the food. Because I don't mind listening while I'm But I should talk about Lisa, Stefan, well, and Becky. She's got some good questions. She's obviously really excited over Well, it's her field. She works with students. And it's really interesting. I feel honored to be sitting at the table. Oh, my goodness. I think I'm blushing. This is risotto? But you're not getting today's food. Yeah. So who developed all these menu items? Was it Dino and... Dino, one of the partners, wow. just all experimented and came up with different things. Yeah. I'm always impressed by, you have all these items on a menu and then they have all them in the freezer. In the That's fridge. a great question. I mean, all that food and you know, the preparation side right. is just like, always impressed, like wow. How do you pull it all how together? How do you do all that? Everything's amazing. made fresh. We're gonna need some plates. Yeah, we definitely oh, need Oh, yes, plates. we do. Well, you two are going to need plates because we know setting mine. I don't know what you two are doing. I'm, I'm within arm's here. reach for you. Yeah, yeah I have an elbow elbow here on the left yeah. side. <laughs> yeah, that's going to just feel very sick. Who goes with those? Yeah, oh, yeah, three. Right. Thank you. We're Lovely. live. That's why we're going. Yes. We're set. So those plates to your right, Mr. Apeek. Uh, Thank you, come. special friend. Right. Lovely. Right. Did you notice earlier in today's, do you have a serving spoon by chance? Uh, I don't or should think I? We're out of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just give them that. That's fine. The, the tongues. No, I'm not. I mean, I'm not doing this. No, let's be a team player here. Oh, what the heck? Oh, okay. oh, oh, okay. Why? Thank you, Mr. Dino. <laughs> Do you want to? <laughs> no, I you can. You can. I was going to oh, serve you. Right? Yeah, that would be oh, lovely. So thank cute. you. No. So Italian jambalaya, interesting. I like that spread at the end, the peppers and the, the jardinera. So you guys make your own jardinera? Yeah, that's, yes. we're gonna, that's excellent. We're going to be sitting here for a while after all. So while they're serving, so uh, we got your address. Um, we got all the information in that. It'll all be put on the screen. So you do catering, you do private parties. Obviously, your visibility is excellent. So if anybody Great can't location. find you right on the well, main road there. More entertainment that you were mentioning. <laughs> and that's the next thing. What, what okay. kind of, you guys have entertainment on the weekends? <laughs> yes, or? it's um, different. We have a couple guys that come back on a regular basis. We have uh, um, some jazz music, uh, piano players, some oh, guitar nice. singers, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin impersonators. Also, so you got Sinatra there? Oh, how fun. Mm -hmm. That's a feat in itself. As far as casual dress, 
casual. Yeah, do yeah. people in jeans in there? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I asked that question yeah. earlier. Oh, I'm sorry. I was, I was eating. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so try some uh, shrimp, try some sausage, try some chicken. And that, what would you call it, jambalaya seasoning or cream okay, seasoning? Mr. Jambalaya Mr. Beans, do you feel left out as we're eating all this food? Kind of, I'm kind of, I'm like, I know what We don't have much time left, I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. Because I have to keep okay, talking. Okay, we got to give the forks yeah. up on oh. this. Yes, forks up. Yeah. Forks up. Right. Four tongs up. Four tongs up. Actually, if I, a fork and a knife. Very, very good. This is awesome. So many layers, so many flavors. Well, in the heat, it doesn't hit you right away as it's. That it's yeah. in there, huh? Yes, which is nice because sometimes it's, it's so overpowering off. at the beginning that you lose sense of the whole dish, but uh -huh. this is... Well, right. I like that they added the jardinier instead of like crushed red pepper because you get one of those red pepper flakes in your tongue and it's just like spice mm -hmm. and you this can't get awesome. over it. Mm -hmm. So that's a nice, it kind of envelops the whole sauce. But it's definitely heat. Nick, comment? It's great. It's great. Like, like Patty said, you know, the heat doesn't hit you at first, so you're sure. able to continue enjoying it. John? Uh, as Patty said, wrapped around your palate. Well, I found a new uh, restaurant to put on my checklist, and they'll be on the top. There you go. Mm -hmm. oh, that's great. Oh, that's I nice. would agree with that. That's nice yes, thing you said. Thank it's true. You. Uh, definitely on the top. Yeah. I've walked past it a lot. Just, I'm now going to turn. See, to this me. is what the show's about. Now we're going to get people instead of walking past. We're going to get them in the doors, and they're going to try oh and they're going to say, mm -hmm. "I want to see that Italian jambalaya, and I want to see that menu that they were talking about." Wow. Right. You know, so this was a fantastic show. I want to thank our celebrity judge panel no, guys you. here for coming in and eating before you go to work. And it Always. was a tough job for you guys here mm -hmm. on a Friday. Yeah. And um, I want to thank my dear friend Trish Pawensi for coming in. Thank, thank you, you so for much for coming. I'm sure they've been setting up since six in the morning for a show like this. Mm -hmm. Dino, good job, brother. Thank, thank you, thank you very much. You cook much. very well, and it's very important to see the chef cooking well, eating orderly, yep. and the garnishes and stuff like that. So I'm your host, Pete Calvetti. Thank you for attending another great episode of Cook This. Until next time, That's stay hungry. Thanks. There you go.